like that. So this will basically make the notes glide or slide into each, each, each a little bit. <laughs> yeah, what's up guys? My name is Severman and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I will show you how to create a respace in FL Studio with the Threeks oscillator. So let's get straight into it. So essentially what a respace is, it's pretty much just a synth with some detune and a filter on it. So you can use a square wave, you can use a triangle wave or whatever. But what I think works best for a respace is a saw bass. So let me first of all uh, mute these two right here, the second and the third oscillator so that we only listen to um, the first oscillator. And I've already prepared like a tiny bass line right here. Let's check this out. So that's the bass progression that I created here. So yeah, first of all, let's pick a saw wave, as I said. And now we basically just want to put some detune on it. Plus 12 cents, I think is, is fine. And now you already got this white, more interesting, richer kind of sound already. Like the D-Tune already does like 80% of it. That's the better octave. Then I'm gonna use a second, um, os like the second oscillator. I'm gonna set up the saw bass as well, saw wave. And then I'm gonna turn the um, D-Tune down basically into the opposite direction, minus 12 cents. So now we got two um, oscillators playing. And with the third one, we can add in another one. So why not, you know, also take use of the third one if we have one. And I think what I'm, what I'm gonna use here is a uh, square wave in order to just, you know, add something else to it to not only have those saw waves. But first of all, let me put the bass line an octave down again and then I'm gonna just increase the octave here so we're still playing the same octave but now I can actually make the third oscillator one octave lower than the other two and that's what I wanted so let's check this out now also putting some detail on this one and as you can tell this one is, is pretty it's too low I would say but if you just add it in a, a tiny bit into um, the other oscillators I think it makes the sound really low and nice rich yeah I think something like that is fine like 10% or something now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this one to um, randomness 100 face randomness 100 I think this Kind of makes the sound a bit more even. I felt like before the notes were a bit too punchy for my taste. Then let's head over to this section right here. I'm not sure how you call this envelope instrument um, settings it's called. Then yeah, let's activate the envelope. So this way we can shape um, yeah the the envelope obviously. And the envelope is basically how the volume behaves over time of of the synth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm just gonna decrease all of them. Also, I'm gonna turn this one um, to zero or 0 0.5 actually. And I'm gonna basically turn the, no um, the knobs up again. And I think I'm gonna put some attack on here. Like I'm gonna increase the attack in order to kind of make it a bit softer, smoother. And now we also need to uh, turn up the sustain again, just all the way up, I think. And then we can also add a little bit of release to it. Nice, that's really nice. Then let's head over to the filter right here because we don't actually want those nasty high frequencies that those uh, saw waves produce. Now it's getting really quiet, but let me turn maybe this one up. I think this will add some resonance to it. Now it's already starting to sound really nice, like that typical read space that you have in a lot of tracks. Then we can add some portamento to it. This will basically make um, the notes slide into each other. Mm -hmm. 
nice and let's head over now to um, the mixer in order to add some more effects onto it because now you know we will have like 90% done of it but I think we can definitely make it sound a bit more interesting still a bit more special so first of all I'm just gonna do some EQing on this one and I think I'm gonna boost the 100 hertz, hertz area a tiny bit Uh, maybe like 150 hertz and then I think I'm gonna decrease the lower mid area a tiny bit uh, quite a bit actually I think that that one just makes it a bit more cleaner. Then let's add some distortion to it in order to fatten it up a bit. So let's just check out the presets. I really like the, um, what is it called? The warmth preset. makes it sound very aggressive, very fat, which is really cool for, for this darker kind of vibe, if that's what you're going for. Then what I also like to use is, and that's also what we, for instance, did on our track Oracle, Krink and I, is we used a bit crusher on our bass line in the break. So um, I think with the latest update, or I don't know which one it was, but now there is an actual uh, bit crusher in um, FL itself. So because I don't wanna be using any like third party presets, um, plugins, sorry. So here's also a preset in here called um, Lo-Fi, which is basically a bit crusher. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it at 20% mix, so it's not too aggressive. Just add some nice spark to the high end, I think. And now one more thing that I'm gonna add is the, um, what is it called, um, the Factor plugin. And with this one, we can add some nice talk box type of character to the bass, which I really like. So let's choose the, the Vox um, thing right here. And now let's, um, yeah, click on the bypass. Already sounds really cool, but um, the thing right now is it stays on this one like parameter, however you want to call it. And if we actually add some modulation right here, we can make it more interesting. Like we can make the parameters move and this will make it more interesting. Like it will add movement. So let's, let's try that out a bit. Nice, I think, I think that's pretty interesting, it's pretty cool. So yeah, I hope you like this little um, Reese Bass FL Studio stock plugin tutorial with the Threes Oscillator. So I think this plugin is a pretty strong um, yeah, option that you have in FL Studio. You don't necessarily need to use those fancy expensive plugins in order to get good sounds. You can definitely do a lot with this plugin right here. And I hope this, this video showed it. And um, yeah, so if you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment with your feedback, subscribe if you haven't, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.